Hey guys, it's John, your Tennessee flying farmer. Uh, I think this is day three of the 31 day challenge anyway. I don't even know, it's been a long day and late nights in here. So I'm trying to get a little bit done. Of course, again, with soybean harvest and all that kind of stuff, I didn't get anywhere near as far as I'd like, but I am making some progress. So um, before we get into that, I should mention, I'm, I'm very honored that Kit Plains is allowing me to do a full builder series on this airplane so if, if you're interested in reading you can see a lot more of the details and um, basically what's making this thing extreme through kit planes I'll, I'll try to share the link here with you but anyway like and follow and subscribe if you get a chance leave comments i do read the comments even though i don't have enough time to go through and reply to all of them i, I do enjoy reading them at least so thank you let's get started this guy's good now here's our farmer john humbred look at that oh my god so here's the top window rib in its original stock location uh, you can see i've got i actually have two sets of holes board there because i put it in a stock location before i decided that i wanted to trim and make it completely different and i have both of them actually mounted there you can kind of see the two different directions I'm going with it. That's so this one is the standard stock setup. This on the inside is flush there on the inside. You can see it's that's the way I'm gonna try my best to make all that work. In order to do that, it lowered it some too. I wanted to lower that top window just a little, and I kind of had to from where I bent this front lip on the window. But anyway, you can kind of see there how much how much that actually lowered it to make it work. As with any modification, it gets pretty time consuming. There I've got the top window rib on both sides the way I'm ultimately gonna to try to have them. Um, the reason it becomes time consuming, it's I have to trim this, the back of it out to fit over this, this piece. So it'll fit nicely right there around and above it. Hope you can see that okay. Well, what happens there, there's no real attachment for the very back of this thing. It's kind of, it's, it's not totally loose. I mean, it's pretty structurally sound and the window will be attached back here and across the ribs. So it'll all be kind of tied together. But what I'm gonna do to fix that, I'm gonna get an, one of the L's put a bracket in here that covers, I don't know, maybe three of those holes. And then I'll have a couple of rivets in the side of that too. So that'll, that'll tie all that back together good. Um, you can see where I've had to cut to go over where the, the cross tubes there are for the, the hand grips or just the bracing on the, the cabin frame. Anyway, I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna look really good when it's finished because that's, that does create a really smooth finish inside. It's actually a pretty simple process. I found a used um, just a, a hand press and I modified it to use um, just a knockout set from Harbor Freight. It's pretty simple. The set came with, I forget, four or five different sizes, but I just modified it enough to secure those knockouts. And like I say, it's really pretty simple. You just put the piece in there and I do it all just really by eyeballing it. It's not super precise. I just try to make it look right and fit right and leave my edge distance. Anyway, you just get it where you like it. And you just pull it down and that's it. It just knocks it out. Uh, it goes by pretty quick, easy. Takes you longer to get it just eyeballed and where it looks correct than it does to actually make the knockouts and the, the scallops. So once I get through with doing those little knockouts like that. Once I get that done, I'll just snip off the little corners there. It's pretty simple too. I'll see if I can get there to where I can show you. It doesn't take much, just a little snip there and it just kind of cleans it up just a little bit around the edge. Then after I finish up with just doing it all by hand, snipping off the little pieces and the the scallops, I'll take it to the belt sander and just clean up the, the edges to where they're reasonably uniform and look pretty good. 
And again, this doesn't really do anything for visual wise. I, I scalp it just to shave a little extra weight. And granted, that doesn't, <laughs> that's probably not gonna add up to hardly anything, but I'm getting a couple of pretty good buckets full. Actually, hang on, let me show you. I got another pretty good size can here of scallops. That's a, that's, that's what the pieces of the scallops look like. I don't know, that's getting up to probably a couple of pounds in there. And this is getting closer to the finished final product. Um, you can see it all kind of fits in there pretty, pretty nice, flush. I, I personally I like the aesthetics of it. I think it'll fit, fit what I'm trying to do with this thing really nicely. It does seem to clean it up a lot. The ones I've looked at, you know, they do have that, they're turning the other way and they have that step and lots of times there are wires and that kind of stuff running them. I'm going to try my best to make this as clean as possible. So we'll see how that goes. But the only thing I can see that might cause a problem from what I've done here, I've lowered the distance right here with this just a little bit from, from what the stock setup is. Where the wings come into this, top window and set down on it that might be an issue i may have to do and i've got an idea in mind but I'm, and i'm not sure how it's going to come out yet well i just have to see once i get the wings there that can be can be fixed regardless so i'm not too concerned about it but there may be a little bit of a gap there and i may have to make a little fairing that fits over that and i was kind of thinking about doing that anyway so wrapping up, I'll, I'll try to get a little further along as time permits. Not sure exactly how much progress I'll make, but it's, it's definitely happening. I'm, I'm proud of the progress that is happening. So uh, I'll, I'll try to get this front windshield back on here. Like I said, I would do yesterday. Of course, everything leads, like I said, everything leads into something else. And it, it just, it's all very, very time consuming. So anyway, till next time, see ya.